<laughs> oh, <laughs> that was smooth. Uh, okay, that was that was pretty good, to be fair. All right, welcome. Go full screen. Go full we screen. are full screen. We are full screen. No, we're not. Now we're full screen. <laughs> welcome, welcome. A little bit better. What's a little bit better? No, no, just the layout, the layout. Yeah, yeah, we're working on we're working on the back behind the scenes, just the transition. It's incredible. I was amazed. Um, today, topic. Today the topic. Wait, aliens? Oh yeah. <laughs> that little that's, guy. I love it. Is that from New Year's? Yeah, that's Kian actually. Is that actually? If you remember, that was Kian. Yeah. Wow. Harley, wow, Harley's uh, head got ripped off, but that's Kian. Yeah. Most. No, I think that was me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what Harley did, but right. Yeah, what's awesome, yeah. All right. How do you want to start a section we... off? Because obviously, well, man. Well, so for today, because we're gonna be a little, a little bit different, isn't it? Because I think we're gonna just be reading out. So we're reading out stories, or you're gonna be playing a video or whatever. Yep. Of an encounter. Um, and also, did, did you say you have one of your? Sort of I have one, yeah, and I found the um, uh, video slash like uh, uh, article on it as well, and I've got that up. You got an article on it? Yeah, so I'll explain it once we get to it. All right, okay. So we're just gonna we're gonna go through the stories, and then after we've gone through the stories, we're gonna talk about we're gonna just discuss it basically, like what what we think about it, the validity, like what's going on about it, yep. if we've heard it before, that kind of thing. Just discuss it in general, yeah, yeah. I guess. So, um, hold on. Oh wait, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go whenever. Which one do you want to start? Yeah. Do you want to start with your story? That might be a good place to start. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, talking about aliens today. So, back when I was, I'd say, I think it was around year six, year five. Yeah. Uh, I was living with, I was living with my auntie at the time. So obviously, oh, really? I, was, I was living with my cousins. Yeah. Um, okay. they were like a little bit older than me. How and you, uh, living with them? I think because I just moved back from America. Oh, so it must have been like year four. Yeah, it must have been year four. Damn. Okay. So I just moved back from America and we had, obviously, my cousins. He was a bit older than me. Uh, yeah, sure. And he was like into computers and stuff. And one day he was like, oh, yo, Spence, come look at this. And it was like, I thought, oh, I'll just, okay, from, we, he said, come over, watch PC. All right, yeah, cool. He had this, um, it's like a video, yeah? Of yeah. like people like having a little Thanksgiving dinner. It was like Thanksgiving time, so I was watching it. It's about forty minutes long, uh, but throughout right. the video, it was just for the start of it, it's just normal Thanksgiving, and it starts to get like a bit scary and scary at the time. And for me, like I thought this was real. Uh, well, what was what was scary about it? So initially, just started Thanksgiving, like I said, and then things like started happening, like the windows and stuff started shaking. There's a big bright light outside. This is all filmed on like a uh, camcorder. Sure. So I'm believe I'm thinking this is like 100 percent real, um, right. and it it is uh, a pr it is it's there's an article here saying it's a hoax or proof we don't know, it's a discussion. So and I watched it when I was right. younger and I thought, hold on, this is this is sort of scary like, and I basically what happened was there's a big bright light, obviously like most alien stories that you'll see, sure, um, and they film going outside, and this alien has. Like it mind controls some of them, it kills some with like lasers that that are really bright red. You can see and you see deaths in this like VHS tape. Oh, uh, that's the and it, and it, man. the scariest thing that I remember was so they're at the table, and obviously imagine like there's a window. So they're filming. People yeah. are like eating. Imagine there's a window behind me like this, and you yeah. just see one of them, bro, run past the window. Just his head. I feel I was, like. like I've seen a clip like that before. I watched like a documentary on Netflix or something. Yeah, it's called, so this one's called the. Um, it's happened in. It says 1980, 1998. Um, in in Australia, right. yeah. Which is, makes oh, it more believable. Nah. No, well, does it? Yeah, Australia's out of nowhere, like in the outback. You know, anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make it more believable to me. Uh, yeah. So it was just like a documentary. So at the time, I genuinely believed it was real. I only found out the other the other year. I say, but I think I was in college. I I found this. I stumbled upon it, and I just found out it might not be real. That's my sort of story. That's more. That's that video made me believe that aliens are real, and so from then on, really? I've always that believed. That was it. You no, know, because when you were a little kid, I was like ten. So I've watched this, this whole thing. Everyone's died. 
Two of them got abducted, abducted and it's all filmed. Yeah, but do you still but surely you don't still believe that now because oh know, no, I like I still was... question this one, but I do believe that there is sort of extraterrestrial like beings out there. I think. But do you think we've had contact with them? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, because do you actually, yeah, Area Fifty One is obviously a prime example. What are they? But, but what about it though? What's going on there? Secret government projects. Yeah, but there's been so many sort of sightings of weird objects in the sky near that area. And I've seen yeah, but that's the, that was the same thing with um, what's the name of that stealth jet that they did? The B oh yeah B yeah B fifty two or something. Yeah yeah. Was it B fifty two? Something like, like that. Like that stealth was... yeah back in like the so like that was a a modern that's like a modern stealth jet and that was being developed like for 30, 30 years or something yeah like for ages yeah so like people you know obviously I think pe- obviously they got to test it yeah and if you're testing a jet you can't always escape the notice of people so. True, true. I just think it's. I think. I think most of the stuff that's UFOs is either just some sort of like light distortion or really, uh, yeah, or just like a an unident like just some someone just flying a plane that's just in a in a crazy fashion or like a, either a government project that's being tested something like that. Like, but this is obviously like this is different because I feel like most UFO sightings, um in the US around Area 51 could yeah, definitely be agreed, attributed yeah. to that. But I think this is strange. So have you seen, uh, I think it's the film, the, the, oh, what's it called? The Sky Skies on Fire? The, bu- the Burning Skies thing. The Sky is Burning. Um, yeah. Yeah, because it was in that video. Burning the Burning Skies? Sky, the Burning Skies or something, yeah. 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 I, I, I haven't seen it. I saw a clip from that, yeah. And that's about a Wait, true story, Burning right? Skies? Yeah, so what's it called? Oh man, I can't find it. No, the fire in the sky? Fire in the sky. Something like that. Something in the sky is either burning or fire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fire in the sky. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so that was based on like a true story. Yeah. And that had pretty some. So let's see. The f- uh, story. But I feel like there's so many like bullshit claims that come out of the US, it becomes a bit, a bit naff. Like everything becomes less believable the more. Yeah, especially with with um, always the videos are like filmed on like potato phones, you know, where there's there's no real like proper HD 1080p like quality. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here's the st- so sorry, uh, did you say? Uh, no, no, go go. Say? I was just gonna say so the whole so the story goes that Walton, who's the guy. So no, in November fifth, nineteen seventy-five, he was working on a timber stand impro- with with a timber stand improvement crew in the Apache Sit Greaves Nation National Forest near Snowflake, Arizona. And while riding a truck, uh, in a truck with six of his co-workers, they encountered a saucer-shaped object hovering over the ground, approximately one hundred ten feet away, making a high-pitched buzz. Right. And he claimed that he left the truck and approached the object when a beam of light suddenly appeared from the craft and knocked him, un- knocked him unconscious. And the six other men were, f- were frightened and just left him, like completely mugged him off. Mm-hmm. He said that he woke, he, the next time he awoke, he was in a hospital like room being observed by three short, bald creatures. And he fought with them until a human wearing a helmet led him to another room where he blacked out as three other humans put a, cl- a clear plastic mask over his face and he claimed he remembered nothing else until he found himself walking along a highway with the flying saucer departing above him. Right. But, so, obviously, there's going to be sceptics. So they said it was just sensationaliz- sensationalization from the media. And it was just a put on thing, and it was just a complete folks just to gain money because they got a prize from this thing, the National Enquirer, or imagine it's some magazine or newspaper, yeah. a $5,000 prize for the best UFO case of the year. Right. And uh, apparently they passed polygraph tests administered by the Enquirer regarding the story. Right. What's so, a polygraph test? Like, like, oh, like an old fashioned lie detector test. Okay, yeah. Um, and they claim that he basically just cheated on the test because obviously, you know, back then in the seventies, it wasn't it foolproof. Was, yeah. So, um, but obviously, like, he's not got any any evidence. 
Yep. But they don't have anything here about the other guys who are with him. Because obviously, if you've got six other people who are with you, yeah. that saw that go down. That's pretty solid evidence. It's not one other person. No, it's yeah, definitely. But, uh, the, but the, 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 the common denominator in most of these things that I've been reading and watching is they either pass out and like time sort of gets lost. Because when they always say, "Oh, it feels like I've woken up," and they go to like a, a hip, not a hypno, hypnotist or something, hypnotist, yeah, right. uh, and that's how they find out that they've been involved in something like that. So it seems like okay. it's a common denominator. There, the light, the flashing light, makes you almost just f- have forget your memory, like you know, in Men in Black, yeah, you know, where they flash that light. Just from that the video that we that you linked, uh, mentioned a couple times that people see this light. Uh, time's gone by. Next time they check the clock, it's like two hours later, and they don't know what happened, which is a bit, which is a bit eerie because where's the evidence, you know? Yeah. Most of, most of this stuff is just like word of mouth. There's never real solid evidence. But then again, how would there be? Because you wouldn't expect to be captured, you know? You wouldn't expect to be picked up by an alien ship. True, but yeah, that was a pretty um, like, well, widespread story but then obviously like they turned it into the film and the film was you know far deeper because they did the whole have you watched have you watched the film no no i only saw part of it on that clip so. it's actually pretty creepy i'm not gonna lie like um they did this whole like um um what's it called the one so basically they had this one like surgery table and all these aliens gathered around him and they had these crazy tools it's pretty pretty freaky i'm not gonna lie um, it's, it's watched, based on a true story isn't it yeah yeah, but the the well, you know the film obviously just changed a lot. No, it of course, made yeah, it yeah. Nothing like the real story. Um, but do you want to get in to a less known story? Because I think the beauty about these things is, you know, I feel like a lot of the stories that are well known are quite old, like the Roswell incident, yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. And you don't. I feel like those are almost less likely to be true because even though they've gained reputation by either being you know realistic or having evidence or whatever or, or like just sort of having witnesses yeah the fact that they're large just sort of lends the uncertainty because the fact that they're widely known because then you think oh they were they just doing it for the reputation like were they just doing it for the for the media attention yeah whereas if it's just some random normal guy who's not told the story and suddenly he's you know he's had a chance to tell it it's actually kind of interesting to see because yeah. usually there's not there's not there's not as much of a motivation to to lie oh uh, yeah and tamper with it yeah so, I, that's yeah, what, yeah. I, like, I, I believe feel like these are more truth yeah. obviously you know nothing nothing that you're hearing is gonna we can't we can't say our 100 percent truth yeah well like. there's no evidence aliens are real it's just it's a it's a massive just theory. yeah it's speculative it's just yeah. speculative so um do you wanna do you wanna read one of the stories or shall I read one of the stories? Which yeah, one? which one? I can get up on screen as well so people can read. So I've got um one from a guy whose username is Denara. If you're on one of the threads. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I see that one. Yep. Yeah. Do you wanna do that one? Yep, I'll get it. Sure, go for it. Let's hear it. Hold on, let me just put it on the screen. Just so they can uh read along. I mean it's gonna be very small. Is that too small? On the stream. Oh wait, shit. No, I'm fuck's sake. I'm looking at R. Yeah, there's there's, there's no point in that. And, well, even if I zoom it. in. Well, I mean, unless you're zooming in. Let's see what it looks like when you zoom in. Oh wow. Because. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, one more in. One more in. More in. Sorry, I forget it's delayed. Here we go. Two fifty. That's pretty good. Wait. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Uh, can you make it slightly bigger, like? Yeah. Or not? Yeah, make just try and make it slightly bigger. I don't know. I can just cover our faces for now. I put it up here. Perfect. Yeah. See, that's good. That's good. That's good positioning. Okay. Cool. All right, come. Uh, so this is Danera. This is uh on a this is on the Reddit that me and Finn have been looking at. Uh, so. This happened to me when I was 10 years old in Calig- Where's that? Calgary, Alberta. Is that in America? Alberta, yeah. <laughs> it's like my last name, isn't it? Wait, is uh, it? Uh, in 1970. I was walking home from school, cutting across the school sports field. Our house wasn't far. We lived across the street from the school. So 
There wasn't any other kids around since I'd stayed late for volleyball practice, and the rest of the students had gone home for 45 minutes earlier. Oh, sorry, had gone home 45 minutes earlier when school let out for the day. It was about 4:30 in the afternoon. Something caught my attention from the corner of my eye, and I stopped and turned to the right to look at it. Floating directly above a house, facing the schoolyard, was a large UFO. So you just, what what a large UFO? I'm guessing is just a generic like disc, right? Yeah. With like Usually glass you get like a decent explanation of it, right. but this, like, I guess it's just the circular classic. I was in the middle of this football field, so this is about 60 to 70 yards distant from where I stood. The UFO is big and almost touching the roof of the house. It is completely centered on the house, but it is, all, it is so big it is also ab above the house on the left and the right. The lots there are 50 feet wide, which puts the UFO about 150 foot across and perhaps two, 25 to 30 feet tall. So I'm trying to imagine how big that is. Because obviously we don't, we, we, don't use, we don't use feet, do we? Unless we measure ourselves. So if, I'm six, uh, if I'm six foot four, that's quite a lot of me, isn't it? Okay, it's 45 meters. All right, yeah. And a football pitch is 90 meters, so, so half just the size of a football. Pretty big. So half the size of a football. Okay, yeah, football I can pitch. see that. I can visualize that, yeah, yeah. It's bloody huge, then. Uh, it's very bright, giving off a, the harsh white light, which is difficult to look at since it hurts my eyes. I look away back towards my house and see a car and motorcycle on the side of the street, which intersects the street uh, with the UFO. See, just to go back, they always it always mentions a harsh white light, always, which is yeah. which is why I believe because there's no way this many people. You could argue, oh, they see someone else put it, then they're gonna put it. Yeah, fair enough. But you said like this, like stories, like why would this guy lie to put on a Reddit post? Like why would he lie? I don't, I, I don't. I mean, I don't, I've not listened to the rest of the story. Like, I want yeah, to yeah, true, 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 true. Um. The street that is about half a block away, and I remember being surprised and confused that the drivers are not re uh, reacting to the UFO, which clearly must be visible to them, and so obvious since it's so bright, but the traffic continues as normal. At that point, I become aware that something is forcing me to turn my head back toward the UFO. I'm turning, and my field of view is changing, but I'm not the one doing it. I struggle to turn away, but I simply cannot control any of my body. I remember a feeling of panic. Then the next thing that I can remember, I'm walking into my house. Is about 9:30 at night, and dark outside. I can't recall anything of the last five hours. That's boogie. My parents were furious with me for being so late. Apparently, my parents and two brothers had to, had been trying to find me for hours. A voice slash thought in my head tells me to tell them that I'm not feeling well and I need to go to bed. I have no idea where that voice slash thought came from, but I do exactly as it suggests and run upstairs to my bedroom and go to bed. The next day, I still can't seem to explain what happened and my mother is even more angry with me since my new school shoes are ruined since the tops of them are all scuffed and dirty like I was dragged face down across the gr ground with my feet still dragging on the ground I told my older brothers what happened and they suggested I keep quiet about it since nobody would believe me good advice as it turns out since in the many years since most of the people I've shared this story with don't really know what to say afterward many years later I was looking at my old school work workbooks from that time and they're all full of drawings of UFOs, gee, all of the same design and with more detail that I can re than I, re I can recall from memory. For example, in my memory, I can't remember seeing any windows in a UFO since the light was too bright to make out details. But in my drawings, there was a large round windows all around the UFO, some with faces looking out. Edit, since some, several people asked about the drawings, which I have. Yes, yeah, so that's just. Oh, let's have a look at the that. drawings. I'm going to open yeah. them now. Ooh. Yeah, so it's a it's a classic sort of like UFO shape. I I I expect the the glass not to cover the whole top though. It's a bit booky. Yeah, that's weird. is that is that that's really weird. That's meant to be glass. Yeah, yeah. Right. That is strange. Was it not? I actually... I can't read the the like notes. None, none of it says glass. To be fair. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is then. Maybe. I mean, I guess I don't know why else she would draw that line, but yeah, damn, okay, strange. Yeah, so that's a pretty that is a pretty old fashioned like UFO shape, isn't it? Yeah, literally, yeah. So, so with that, that's what I mean. The the common denominator is that bright light, uh, not remembering time, like I said. Yeah, yeah. And also, always talking about their shoes getting scuffed, like they've been dragged across the floor. I've not heard that one before. Uh, in that, in the video, there's a couple of them that said that as well. Really? Yeah. Well, because the, the whole theory is they mind control you, so you pass out, you don't remember anything, and they're dragging you. 
Wouldn't you think that if they have mind control, they'd have a more sophisticated, sophisticated way of moving you? Yeah, yeah, telekinesis. Like, they're dragging you with their mind. Like, you're, walking, you're following them into the ship. I don't understand it, though. Why would they... Why would they resort to that and leaving, like, evidence? Like, if it's real? What's the point? If they're going to go to the effort of erasing the mind... Right. Why have they you know left any sort of because clearly if they have the capabilities of doing this then they've got some sort of higher level of thought and they're smart enough to clean up a crime scene well i don't i don't think it's the fact that well like you like you say he doesn't not remember he he does remember he's drawing it right um, yeah but the like just just like the scuffed shirt and and shoes like because because it's just i'm guessing he's passed out right Oh, yeah, but yeah, as you you saying, like, why, yeah, because they, I guess they don't care. Like, why would, why would they care? They're trying to get humans to test them because they're a new, we're a new species to them. They don't care yeah, about... But why, why erase the minds, then? Why erase their mind? I think that just happens, just, I'm guessing, just to the white light. Like, we're just not used to a bright... It's like a minute black, isn't it? A bright flash. It's like a flashbang. It, like, stuns you and hazes you. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah you nah, don't nah. believe it. That's No, because that's, that's not when they say, like... It's not as soon as they see the light that the mem- the memory thing is clearly just an induced effect of what well they're... like obviously hypothetically it's clearly an induced effect of whatever they're trying to do like it's on purpose not just an incidental effect otherwise it wouldn't have been you know frequent it wouldn't frequent so many stories surely yeah true because yeah. I feel like I, I feel like ninety ninety percent of the stories that I hear or I've read have so, said that there's some sort of time loss, like yeah, in the yeah. stories. I'm I'm guessing they don't like I said they either don't care or they want us to know that they're out there. That's the only explanation, she... right? Because they can't all just be this bad, like you said, at cleaning up crime scenes. Well, yeah, but from I, from... I don't know because what, what do they what do they want? If they want something, well, we don't know. Like, even if they are real, we don't know what they want. Uh, my theory uh, is just they just we're new species. They'd just be testing us, you know. They'd just be testing us for like our brain. Yeah, or... I, I don't know. I, I don't. To me, it doesn't make it doesn't make enough sense. Like, if they wanted to, if they wanted to be, they'd either be secret or they wouldn't. And if they're going to be secret, then they'd know what to do to go to the absolute lengths to, to cover it all up fully. But yep. if they didn't want to be secret, then why would they bother with any sort of memory raising or like if they would, you know, I feel like there'd just be so much more evidence to back it up if they didn't, didn't hypothetically didn't mind about being noticed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's I agree just... with you on that point. But like the only, the only like back, like if evidence I can give to the opposite side is they don't, yeah. they don't have control of us being, losing our memory. It's just, we're not used to whatever's happening to us. That wouldn't make sense at all. I, I mean, I guess so. I guess I could entertain that. So, yeah. Uh, guy described something, Joe Rogan, Bob La- Bob Lazar. Uh, apparently worked. I think I've... Have you seen that? Yeah, I've, I think... No, I, I, know, I didn't watch the full thing, but I heard about it. Apparently, it's like... It sounds pretty crazy. Bob Lazar, he worked... See, that's what I mean. The outer world technology. I mean, it's also because, like you said, media. Like, you see all the films and everything. All relate... All alien films always sort of link back to Area 51. There was that really good film uh, with that crazy, where they kept aliens. Um, he had a crazy scientist. He was like, uh, I might end of the world or something, or end of days, something like that. Or no, day after tomorrow? Nope. One of them films. Um, and they just keep, they keep aliens within Area 51. They have all their spaceships in there, and it's pretty interesting how every film, alien film, always links back or usually links back to Area 51. Yeah, because it's just such an old that, like, classic yeah, thing, so isn't it? it? But, man, I think if if the government, if the American government was hiding alien technology or alien life from the American people, I don't think they'd... I think that if they truly wanted to hide it, I think the American people wouldn't have a clue. I genuinely... I just don't think that... that you think about, you know, all these deep-rooted conspiracies and like i know i know it's dumb but like um what's his face oh god what's his name i've forgotten his name who bloke who killed himself in the prison cell there's probably been many of them no the pedophile uh honestly not sure oh come on you must know his name what's his name someone please say in chat before 
I get embarrassed. Uh, I cannot help you here. You think you didn't... Einstein what? Oh! No, what? <laughs> You're thinking Weinstein. No, I'm not thinking... No, 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 no. No, he's the Hollywood producer. I'm thinking... It's, it's S something. I've forgotten his name. Something that someone didn't kill oh, Jeffrey Epstein. That's the oh, guy. that was the one. Epstein. Yeah, Epstein. Yeah, yeah, Epstein. Epstein. yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, Epstein. So like, if they can, if the government can be part of a deep-rooted, obviously this is all, this is conspiracy as well. But Jeff, if uh, Epstein can, is part of this, you know, deep-running, powerful figures and government-run pedophile ring. Yeah. Then why can't then? And obviously, like before that, nothing is serviced. No, nothing is surfaced on it at all. Then you no, know, why, why, uh, why wouldn't they be able to hide? Alien tech. I just feel like they've got a lot more power than perhaps we we think. Or you could look, we could view it like this. So the government have made the whole of the world perceive Area Fifty One as something mental. Yeah, maybe. And it's you know, but yeah, exactly. So there's actually like an Area Fifty Two where literally stuff like that actually <laughs> happens, and you never know. Yeah. Like that could be it. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's the greatest part. I'll tell you what, boys. Imagine being sat like as the as the US president. It's like, right, listen, to this, <laughs> listen to this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bankroll a load of sci-fi films talking about how Area Fifty One has a ton of aliens in. And you know what the best part is? The best part our alien alien technology. It, the, our area is gonna be Area Fifty Two. <laughs> literally, dumb literally. Fuckers. Um, Just for Area Fifty Two. I think so. I think that could be a legitimate answer. <laughs> I mean, this whole okay. podcast is all on theories. It's like none of us is yeah. set in stone. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, do you want to get on to the... Should we do another one, then? Yeah, no. So, so, like you said, like believe in these sort of ones where they're not more in the public as much. Like Films and stuff, obviously, in the public, made by many people. These are sort of little secrets, little hidden gems that, are, that aren't going to be influenced by media. Well, they could be influenced by media, but aren't influenced too much to lie yeah. like what's the point of lying you know sure yeah right should i read out one yeah which one would you like um i've sorted it by top so i'm going for michael what's the name? cuz which, same one no 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 michael cuz it's sorted by top i've sorted the comments by top comments yep go for it you keep reading i'll get yeah, it on yeah, the screen sure. all right so he says i never told anyone this story because i never thought they would believe me that's what everyone says. Um, I was home alone. I was home alone one evening, and I'd gone to sleep for the night. I lived with my significant other and two indoor cats, but she was out of the state traveling for business. I woke up in the middle of the night. I wasn't sure of the time because, but it was completely dark. But because my body was freezing cold, I actually like it cool when I sleep, and usually have the temperature around 70 degrees or colder. Don't know what the equivalent is since I live in Central Texas. But this was different. I was ice cold and trapped in blank and wrapped in blankets. It was the middle of summer, so evenings aren't cold. When I grabbed my phone to look at the time, it seemed to be off, and I pressed the on button, but it didn't turn on. Since I was half asleep, I shrugged it off. I walked out of my bedroom to adjust the thermostat and noticed that the cats weren't around. This was weird because the furballs were always hanging out in the bed or around the bed. Anyhow, I walked to the thermostat and tried to adjust it with the power of the thermostat to the thermostat. I have a nest, which is, you know, this. Yeah, I've got that one as well. So, yeah. It was nil, and the power to the house seemed to be off. I peeked out of the upstairs window to see if any of my neighbours were having power issues and notice that all of their outdoor lights were working just fine. From the time I woke to this moment it was probably one to two minutes maximum. I decided to wander downstairs to grab some water but I'm startled when I see there's a glow of light coming from the first floor. The way my house is situated I couldn't see the light until I had approached the stairs. I found this odd because the power seemed to be out just upstairs which didn't make a lot of sense. I started walking down the stairs and began to hear a faint humming noise. The noise had a high pitch to it with arbitrary pulses of low sounds, almost like a muffled weed whacker that someone is throttling at random. As I continued to walk down the stairs, I spot a dark, slowly moving figure in the room with light at the bottom of the stairs. The next step that I take feels like I walked off the side of a cliff or was sucked into the floor. This is the really best, the best, the best way I can explain it, because I don't remember what happened after that moment. I just lost all feeling from my body. My next memory is waking up again to the sound of my phone's alarm. Everything seemed back to normal. I sat there in bed, cats being lazy in bed next to me, and tried to think about the two-minute incident that happened happened in the middle of the night. I'm not a sleepwalker and was definitely not dreaming. My security systems app shows the time whenever a door is opened or closed. I realised that my security system was disarmed on the app 
and the front door had been opened and closed several times throughout the night. I pulled up my security footage from the exterior cameras and was surprised to learn that there was zero footage from the night. Like the motion sensors reacted to a random car driving by at around 10 p.m. And then the next thing is another random car in the morning. So someone or something walked in and out my front door, but the cameras did not capture any footage. My neighbor across the street has a good security system that points at my house. So I asked if he can review the footage from his cameras. I told him some made up story about how I thought someone had broken into my truck. Anyway, he said it was weird because when he pulled up the footage from that night, his cameras did not record anything. Just a time gap once again. My first thought that I was sleepwalking and the memory was a dream, but it just couldn't have been. When I looked out the window in the middle of the night, I distinctly recall a red pickup truck parked the wrong direction in front of the neighbor's house. I always notice when cars are parked left wheel to curb because I've gotten a ticket for this in the past. Anyhow, the truck was not there before I went to sleep based on the footage, but was there in the morning based on the footage. So the truck was there when I saw it in the middle of the night. I definitely woke up in the middle of the night, cold as ice, no cats, no working phone or thermostat, saw the truck outside the window, then got warped, warped by something on the stairs. A couple of additional things were different in the house. The security system was disarmed, and I definitely armed it before going to bed. The light was still on downstairs, and that was absolutely off before I went to bed. My whole body smelled like burned marshmallows. I know this is weird, but it's really how it smelled. And lastly, my 55-gallon fish tank that sits at the bottom of the stairs in the entryway was missing two-thirds of the water. Seriously, where the fuck did 40-plus gallons of water go? The whole area around the tank was bone dry, and the fish were fine. I think I was mind fucked by some thirsty aliens. Jeez. See, it's always the same thing where they can't remember what happened. Yeah. And that's annoying because it sort of leads to believe they're just not telling the truth. Like. Yeah. I mean, like the guy below it says, it's it's engaging, and even though he's skeptical, it's the tone of the story is pretty pretty spot on for sort of like this happened, but also what the fuck. Like, it's not someone who's telling it as though they've written a fictional story. Yeah. It's someone telling as though they're trying to convince the reader that this happens because they truly believe it did. Yeah, and that's the scary thing. Because, mm. uh, like, from me reading or listening to that, you reading it, it do- I do believe him. Like, he does sound legit. And what, is, what's it, his it, motive it's, for it's, making it up, you know? Like, what, why would you, like, for a bit of, like, like on Reddit, you know? Like, not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean,. It's interesting how they've got that whole like security footage deletion thing. Yeah, right? that's so the that, booky thing. Uh, that, well, that's like another thing. Like, do they they're trying to cover their tracks. Clearly, they don't want to. They don't want people to have evidence of what's going on. Yeah. Or like, obviously, like when I say this, I sound like I'm fully believing this, but I am literally just talking speculatively. Like, I'm talking yeah, yeah, of course. But, but uh, you know, in this hypothetical world. That seems the whole idea is that, you know, they come, they nick someone, they erase all traces of it happening, and the people always have that time loss. Although it was interesting because they didn't talk distinctly about like, oh, right, so so they didn't have a chance to, to check the time this time, did they? Exactly, so yeah. Because their phone was off, so they don't know how much time they lost, they just remember waking up. Yeah, true. Which is what's kind of interesting is is the the water loss from the like that's a weird detail to put in if you yeah that's a weird one like the, the losing water in the fish tank that's a strange one so that it also sort of lends i mean you think what that is a really but, weird thing i mean the only thing i can think of is that our planet is obviously made up of what is an 80 percent of water and not um, many other planets are made up of water at all or have a lot of water on them so are they not no 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 not compared to us we're like massively watered so like okay I'm guessing aliens think water is a key resource because there's fil- there's an alien film that's based on the theory that aliens come to our planet just for our water and extract our water, like the whole planet's water. Hmm. So that's just the other theory, like you just saw some water drank all, you know, or extracts it and like kept it and took it home. Cook some nice barbecue or something. What, so you think they're just nicking our water but they're only taking three quarters of the tank? Yeah, we don't need it all, do they? Like they saw obviously living <laughs> things in the fish tank, like... Let the little, little things live. <laughs> so the, the alien just comes in and he's like, oh, fucking hell, I am thirsty. And he's yeah. like, oh, 55 gallon fish tank. And he's just like, just like filling up a little pint of glass, just like necking it. And he's just like, oh, 
all right, that's me done. I'll let her have the rest. I don't yeah. want to kill the things after all. No, no. Then they fucking leave. Blind, they destroy all the footage. They wipe the memory of the woman and then they just leave. That's it. Yeah. All right. I don't think he would have drank it. I think they would have taken it home and like tested it because water's something new to them. You know, they'd want to test it. Nah, I, I, I couldn't. But if they just needed a test, they don't need that much. Okay. Yeah. True. 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 Clout in it. They either yeah. need they they either need like a huge amount or just not that much at all. Like that's such an odd amount, surely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm confused. It is a confusing topic. Where's a power off? Absolutely love a good conspiracy yeah. theory. Now, but. Uh, some of these people out there could genuinely believe that this happened to them, and then even write something up like this, uh, this because they truly believe it. People with serious mental health issues could absolutely put something like that, this on Reddit, or again, just some people looking for clout. True, true, true. But the fact that there's so many people doing it would suggest otherwise. But then, surely, do you think every single person posting a story and taking the time to write something wants clout? I think the probability is like less likely. I don't know, but that's the thing. You can't. You can. We're only, we're purely reading this and like speculating, speculating for entertainment. Yeah. Like it's I don't uh, personally I'm skeptical until a personal experience. You can't you can't exactly can't, it's yeah. I I couldn't say that I, I say that for the same for like anything like paranormal or anything like that. Like you, I couldn't possibly entertain anything is true unless I experienced it myself. But even then, you know, there's definitely got to be self doubt. Like, are you sane? Are you actually is your mind are you just having hallucinations you know hallucinations are crazy people with schizophrenia can you know hallucinate entire entire situations happening so you know it's perfectly perfectly uh believable that that could happen yeah it's, it's the same most things, isn't it? they could have imagined an encounter yeah for sure yeah like but obviously like you know it is interesting the detail they go into it's interesting to think about you know the way that they've gone about telling it because it just sort of you know, it, it lends some sort of believability. Literally, yeah. They have serious issues. The, the idea of these stories being true is 100% interesting. Definitely there's something. Yeah, so well, I agree with you. There's definitely some people out there who have sort of mental issues and do truly believe some, this has happened to them, like you said, right on the internet or whatever, gets around. But I, I still think there's a handful of people out there who have experienced some crazy stuff. Um, I think it's just a belief of mine. I think people out there, there is like people out there, like hidden gems, like I said, that have actually experienced some sort of extraterrestrial activity. But obviously, since there's so much uh, f of content flooded and people are like iffy whiffy with it, they're not going to believe them. You know, it's the same as anything out th out this world. Like, if you if, if let's say you came to me and uh, like some of the boys and said like, oh boys, I just said something mental like, uh. I don't know, like, you, you went to Blackjack, you put 100 down, you won 250, and then you came out of the club and, like, beat some people up. You say, you say something, like, out of the blue, yeah? And then we wouldn't believe you. We would believe you, but we wouldn't believe you without, like, some good evidence, you know? It's the same with this. You need some solid evidence, or, like you said, a personal experience to sort of put you on the side of believing, at least. Yeah, like, if you, I, I mean, yeah, it's got to be so, so, so concrete. Yeah. To, uh, to even warrant some sort of belief in it like people can just people would disprove and disprove and they should like if we're not skeptical then what we, we can't we can't just take what take stories for granted like you have to be skeptical i think yeah i yeah i agree with that as well but plus it's just generally the way to the truth like yeah just being skeptical yeah yeah i'm just i'm trying to think there's just no way that we are alone, like in this whole universe. No, I, I don't think we are. That's why. That's are. the main I've... reason why I believe in some sort of extraterrestrial being. Like, I just don't believe that we are alone. I don't think we are either. I, I'm fully. I fully agree. Actually, I don't. Uh, that's not. Maybe not true. I. I don't. Th I don't. I think there are other life forms out there like us that are advanced. Yeah. You know, organisms. Mm -hmm. But. You know how big is the universe? No one actually knows exactly. the size just... of the universe. Yeah. You know we know the size of the Milky Way and we know the size of a few other other galaxies, but in terms of the actual universe, ever expanding, crazy things could happen, and they, we could never ever even get close to seeing it. Like that that just that airs on the side of philosophy almost because mm. it's just like 
it goes into the idea of what is the universe are we like it, you know it becomes a whole like religious argument again like are we the only planet with intelligent life forms that kind of thing so it's all a bit all a bit of an it, yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting argument it? it spirals yeah, yeah. but sure. there is that other argument that aliens actually live on earth and are humans um so like he said that car that black car like he said entered Blue, at night red truck red truck i oh, know there was a black car as well that uh appeared and disappeared in the night in the morning right no, it was a red truck. Yeah, it was a red truck, but also a black car. What? Um, yeah, so like the motion sensor reacts to a random car driver and uh, next thing around car in the morning. I don't remember a black car. Spencer's gone mental already, man. These stories have got me. Losing him. Yeah, here, here, here. Like the motion sensor reacts to a random car driving around by around 10 p.m. and then the next thing is another random car in the morning. Uh, so someone walked in and out of my house, but the cameras did not capture any footage. I didn't really understand that phrase, but yeah, sure. Okay, so yeah. Let's, let's just say the aliens uh, have somehow transformed to, uh, into us, like into human beings. Let's say they have the technology. Sure. So do you do you think that could be a? It could be a possibility, but do you believe that? Do you think there is people in do the I world? Do I believe it? Yeah. No. Nah. No. Well, no. Really? Because yeah. um, have you seen those? <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen those theories what about um no uh, the lizard people lizard people? Also bullshit. Like uh, with that's Mark more, Zuckerberg that's more of a and stuff. Meme. That's more of a meme, man. Yeah, no, but no, Zuckerberg's not a lizard. He's just <laughs> on the spectrum. Like obviously no disrespect, but he I feel like he's just he's obviously got social difficulties interacting with people. Like he's just socially awkward. Yeah. <laughs> he's not a lizard. <laughs> Tell me again, the facts are the size of his mind, that's gotta be something. Yeah, literally, what are you talking about? We're talking about aliens, um, whether they exist. I think maybe uh, she was talking about the fact that you're just chatting shit <laughs> about oh, lizards. Uh, <laughs> do you want to do the next story by Modern Mountains? The one just below. Yep. You got it? Modern Mountains. Wait, I've got loads of. Michael... You've got to ignore the comments. And yeah, things. yeah, that's what I'm trying to scroll past. Yeah, Modern Mountains, I've got that, I've got that. Cool. Don't worry, I've got you. This is a short one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. I was home alone in this little house. I lived in the middle of nowhere. It was probably around 2am and I was just listening to music, enjoying having the place to myself for a change. When all of a sudden my dog started going crazy. Normally when someone pulls in the driveway or comes up to the back door, they go to the door they heard the noise beyond and peek through the blinds to see who it is. But this night they are running all around the house from door to door barking louder than they ever do. When I stood up to go see what the hell they were on about, I noticed that the whole house seemed to be lit up with a deep blue light. Turning into the living room light, it became obvious that it was emanating in from each window. I put on my shoes to go outside and see who was out there. But by the time I got out there, the, the light had faded. There was no sound of a car engine or really anything. And where I lived, you could hear a car coming from a mile away. I felt a chill run down my spine, but I had the weirdest sense of fight or flight where neither option seemed viable, like I was frozen to the spot. I wanted to turn around and get back inside. And then I just was right back in the chair. I was listening to music in. What? I was listening to music in. Right. As if I just blinked and there I was. Don't really like telling people about it because it skeeves me out so bad. That's another like alien encounter trope, isn't it? The whole dogs. Yeah, dogs it's always like sort of pets it. or dogs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just like they really the dogs get really freaked out about yeah. it and uh, start yeah. going crazy. Yeah, that's um, I mean, it's kind of interesting of a short one, but then obviously like you you said it was always a blinding white light, but you know a deep blue light. This is different, yeah. Different. Yeah, we got a little bit different. Same with that other and, one. Uh, when it is this one's two a.m. mostly happened at night, but the other one was at four p.m., wasn't it? So during the day. Yeah, yeah, but that was um. So that was outside, though, wasn't it? So they were walking home. Yeah, this true. one is you know just chilling in there. Mm. Yeah, that it, the thing the thing about reading these is it is a bit booky. Like if you actually put your mind to it, it's a bit. Well, I'm trying to think if that happened to me, I'd be proper booked out. For sure, you you know obviously you can't take it for granted like. It's, I, I just like it, I re- when I'm reading it, I'm thinking of it and treating it in my mind as a fictional story. Mm-hmm. But but obviously it's ent- you know it's entertaining to think that it could have happened and people, you know you you could just never tell. 
but yeah it's a pretty it's an interesting story you know like just sort of going outside fight or flight that's an interesting thing i feel like that's another trope from it like having that fight or flight response where you can't move and you're sort of frozen in fear and then memory wipe back in the chair where she started that kind of thing yeah and i yeah like you said it's hard to believe but I I do I think like I said I do think some of these people are telling the truth, but whether they whether the ones we're reading are truthful or not we we never know. Um, mm. that's what that's what I like about these sort of things like conspiracy theories. It's, it's something to talk about, something to think about. Like it could something is I think personally something is out there hundred percent. Like there's no way we're living in this like this whole universe by ourselves. It's just whether or not it's it's interacting with us and if they're telling the truth or not. That's the bit yeah. where it's a bit... bit questionable, yeah. You've got to think about it a bit more. I'm just reading the next one down to see if it's a decent yeah, story. So I was just trying to get the one that I um obviously found. I'll put it up on stream now. This is the one that I, that scared me when I was younger. So this one happened in uh, in Australia. Um, and this was filmed on their camcorder, like a Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know why they're doing Thanksgiving in Australia. Do they usually do that? They sound American though. Lake County. Are you sure it's Australia? Alien Doctor Lake County. Oh no, it's, it's uh, Connecticut, never mind. Yeah, Connecticut makes sense then. So, American. Um, they love their UFOs. I want to try and skip to the bit where... So they're sat at... The dinner table, like I was saying. Oh, this is all boot, like, but yeah, so this, this is the start of the start. Um, they'll show that the lasers. Here we go, here we go. So this is meant to be like a police report. Um, so this is a, like this laser here through the door. It just looks like a low-budget, handheld. Yeah, so remote. this was meant to be the quote-unquote um, like police report and the the boot um, film. Okay. So well, that article that it's on right now, what does it say about it? Is it a hoax or actual proof? So it just discusses whether it's actual hoax or not. Uh, the uncut video footage you're about to uh, see contains the most important evidence yet made public regarding this phenomenon. Uh, so this is a of the UFA, UFO, UFO case. Uh, it just describes friendly five out of five soldiers. Apparently, yeah. So it, uh, it, it concludes that as a sort of fiction B, B, B movie, like you said, like bad production quality. But like I'm saying, when you're younger, this could link into this. So let's say you, we read some of those stories. One of them was a little girl or a little boy, right? There's a little guy you're at school, right? Yeah. So when you're obviously younger, you're more impressionable, like just psychologically. Thing, things yeah. that happen to you. Yeah. So when I watched this when I was younger, at 10, um, this is way more believable to me. So when something like, and when a, when something happens when you're a little kid, it's less likely to be believable. Same with like you know when like we're little kids and we tell adults, oh, like oh something's happened outside, they're less likely to believe you because you're really impressionable, you're really gullible, I guess. Whereas if yeah, an sure. adult comes out and mentions it, that's when it becomes more scary because their brain's fully formed, they're not as impressionable as people unless they have some sort of disability towards them. All right. Do you not think this um, like fake content just lends less believability to the whole argument then? Yeah, it does. It it well, it, it, redu it reduces think... the validity of the whole argument of that there is aliens, doesn't it? Yeah, and then also it makes you think about what other stuff that you've seen is just is fake, a hoax, but yeah, just hasn't true. been exposed. That's it's... the thing. Like, yeah, it's annoying because. There's there could be stuff out there that are actually valid, but there's so much stuff out there that's so fake it just reduces the whole validity, just because of the sheer influx of videos that are just fake and pictures. 
and stories. So it is hard yeah. to distinguish what is legit and what isn't. But I think, like you said, you'd have to have a personal experience or even we'd have to go out and talk to someone and actually get a feel of the vibe that they're giving when they're talking about it. Because reading it over a text is only going to give us like part of the story. Yeah. But actually, like going to believe them, you'd have to film us going and talking to them and interviewing them. That wouldn't even be solid evidence. That would just be us telling you, like, oh, we're getting a vibe that is genuinely telling the truth. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So it's it's always back to step one where we have no solid evidence, and it's it is just one of those topics. It's the same as any conspiracy theory where there's no there's there's little bits and bobs, but there's never ever concrete evidence. That's why they're conspiracy theories. Like they're not legit theories. They're not proven. But then you get nutcases out there that truly believe in these things and will hundred percent go for it, even without like concrete concrete evidence. Yeah, which is cool, but. Like, like for example, flat world, you know, like the flat Earth, like that's just mind blowing to me, like how people believe this is flat. Yeah. Like it's funny because didn't they um spend like ages doing this whole experiment to prove it was flat using lasers or something, and then accidentally proved that it wasn't flat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like setting yourself up for failure, mate. Yeah, and no, no, no shot at the Americans, but it seems like the Americans are always involved, and it's just a bit of a coincidence. <laughs> I I think something's up there, like they just, just some nutty geezers. Yeah, they either just it. love like lying or like they just love it. Like, just love attention as well. Americans love lying. Yes, yeah. you heard it here first from <laughs> a half American. Literally, yeah, they just love lying. Spencer lies half the time. That's fact. Highly unintentional. Um, <laughs> do you want to go into another story? Yeah, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Which one are you thinking? Uh, I'm doing. A lovely nickname, Darnell Potty Pants, just right. below the shortest story. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah. All right. Not sure if we were abducted, but my wife, who was a non-believer. Wait, when he says non-believer, does he mean believer in aliens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's, a, that's not a good way to start it. Uh, and I have both have missing time. We were having sex on our Ooh. bed when we both suddenly came to <laughs> and we were in a totally different place in the room. Not sure how much time had passed, but she looked at me and said, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I said I wasn't sure. <laughs> it was just too good. It was too good. They both knocked each other out. <laughs> yeah. Lost their <laughs> memories. It's like, fuck, I've just made you pregnant. I'm so sorry. <laughs> carry on, carry on. I'm... Go, go. Neither of us were scared and we were both incredibly tired. We decided we would go to bed and talk about it in the morning. I looked up instances of missing time and a lot of them said the same thing. When they came to, they were just very tired, knew something was totally weird, but just wanted to go to sleep. Edit, we had a carbon monoxide detector, so they didn't get knocked out by carbon monoxide. Edit two, first of those saying we automatically assumed it was aliens then. No, please reread the first seven words of my story. We do not know by Google, but just by Googling missing time, you'll find a heavy correlation. Um, edit three, yeah. the wife texted me. She wants to add something. It was the day we got engaged. Of course, she wanted to add that because I forgot. Oops. Ha ha. She said it was like she fell asleep during sex oh. and she woke up. Oh, no. It wasn't that good. No. It wasn't that good. Poor guy. Um, she remembers we both came into consciousness at the exact same time and were disoriented, but felt like everything was okay. She's he hesitant to say aliens abduction or even something spiritual because she exclaims something happened. I, I mean, the same thing, time missing, appear yep. somewhere suddenly. Yep. Uh, but he, I don't like that first. Like, if he if he's saying, oh, she's not, a, she's a non-believer, like. It's inferred that he believes in aliens, and that immediately just makes me think, oh, you know, this geezer, his first conclusion is aliens. I mean, I, I guess, I guess he also does say that he's not saying for sure it was aliens, but I don't know. I guess it's a strange thing. Definitely strange. Especially since, I, yeah, since they're both, you know, if if it's real and they and they both sort of, you know, sort of lost time and then become conscious, just doing something completely random it's pretty interesting you know but more believable than just one guy saying oh yeah i woke up in i woke up in the middle of a forest after or go for a walk like yeah yeah at least there's some sort of evidence to back it up from someone else but then obviously you know she doesn't believe it or 
if we uh, if we don't we can't take this word as gospel but yeah uh, ah. i mean it's interesting to have a story that's for once not just like someone on their own true yeah true that's actually very true that's the first one i mean they got dogs and pets obviously but and fish but uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah you do but there's no ever there's never that's a good like little find there. there's no ever human with them it's always by themselves yeah yeah, it is a it is a baffling topic. I mean, we could obviously talk about this for days and just keep reading stories, but literally, I think the conclusion here is you either believe them or you don't. There's no <laughs> concrete. There's no concrete evidence out there. <laughs> is you that what we're ending it? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But I'm just for me, I do believe them. I think, like I said, there's no. There's no way. You're telling well, no, but you believe you believe the alien encounters have happened. I believe you totally I, fully believe that this that these people have been visited by aliens. Yeah, so I, I fully believe that there there's some people out there on this earth that have been visited by aliens. But since there's so much shit out there that just flooded this whole alien topic, we won't ever see the light of day for those ones. And even if we do, we won't believe them because just because of the sheer number of rubbish we've read. I could I could agree that that idea is conceivable, but then I also just can't say, you know, oh for sure someone's been visited by aliens. I couldn't. Yeah, you can't say for sure, but you just claim. yeah, it is a bold claim. Mm. Do you wanna? I, I was thinking just for like one other famous one. Yeah. Do you wanna? If you if you Google the Rendlesham Forest incident. It's a it's a famous UK one, I think. Well, in Scotland, no yeah. Rendlesham Forest in event. Suffolk. Ooh, in the... Suffolk, yeah. Yeah, just UFO a, landings, a, yeah. Well, I think there's a there's a wiki Wiki, page wiki page, yeah? about the event, yeah. Main event, yeah. Yeah. You gonna you do you wanna read it or Yeah, I'll give it a little read, I'll give it a read. Sure. Oh sorry, I have to open it. Uh, around three AM. So it's always at night. It literally is always at night. Which is a yeah, uh, I mean believable I guess. Around three AM on the twenty sixth of December, nineteen eighty, reported as the twenty seventh by Holt in his memo to UK Ministry of Defence, see below, a security patrol near the east gate of RAF Woodbridge saw lights apparently descending into the nearby Rendlesham Forest. These lights have been attributed by an astronaut wait, astronomers to a piece of natural debri- uh, debris seen burning up as a fireball over sou- southern England at the time. Wait, so they've already... So that's already been, like, unhoaxed or hoaxed? Well... It's been this, debunked, this, right? This, These this, lights have been, been attributed. Attrib- yeah, 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 but just keep reading. Just okay. Servicemen initially thought it was down by uh, down aircraft. Upon entering the forest to investigate, they saw, according to Holt's memo, what they described as a glowing object, metallic in appearance with coloured lights. As they attempted to approach the object, it appeared to move through the trees, and the animals on the nearby farm went into frenzy. One of the servicemen, Sur- Sergeant Sergeant Jim Penniston, later claimed to have encountered a craft of an unknown origin while in the forest, although there was no publicised mention of this at the time, and there's no corroboration, corrobor- corroboration, right? What the hell did you say that word? Corroboration. Corroboration from other witnesses. Shortly after 4 a.m., local police were called to scene. What's that? The only lights they could see it from the ones in the lighthouse. Uh, after Eric, on the 26th December, Sellersman returned to a small clearing near the eastern edge of the forest and found them found three small impressions on the ground in a triangular pattern, as well as burn marks and broken branches at nearby on nearby trees. At 10:30 a.m., lo- uh, the local police were called out again. This time to see the impressions, which they thought to be made of an animal. Regina Bruni, in her book *You Can't Tell the People*, published a photograph of the supposed landing site. Take on the morning after. Ooh. Um, the deputy base commander, Lieutenant Col- uh, Col- Col- How do you say that word? What? The C word. Yeah, that's it. Why is it pronounced C-word. Colonel? Colonel. Huh? Uh, why is it pronounced Colonel when there's like an L in the middle? <laughs> Colonel. I don't know. I don't Colonel. know. Colonel. Charles Holt visited the site with several servicemen in the early hours of 28th September. Reported as 29th. They took radiation readings in the triangle depressions and. In the surrounding areas, using an, some sort of equipment, radiation survey meter. Although by, they recorded 0.0 milli antigens per hour, the other regions they detected 0.03 to 0.04. I don't know what any of that means. It's a small burst of over half a mile away from 
What does even that mean? What's, what's a milo red antigens? Measure of radiation level. Alright. Uh, it was during this investigation that a flashing light was seen across the field to the east, almost in line with the farmhouse. As witness had seen it on the first night, the Orford Nest lighthouse is visible to f further to the east in the same line of sight. Later, according to Holt's member, the three star light, light was seen in the sky to the north, two to the north, one to the south, about 10 degrees above the horizon. Holt said that the brightest of these hovered for two to three hours and they and seemed to beam down a stream of light from time to time. Astronomers have explained these star lights. So it seems like throughout the Wikipedia, they're like really, they're unbiased on this whole situation. Yeah. And they, they, they like I say, they mentioned in the, on the twenty sixth that um, astronomers have attributed this to be just natural debris. Yeah. Well, yeah, the lights, the lights were yeah. The lights, yeah. You know, they don't explain the rest of the. They don't, obviously, when they go in the forest. The radiation. The object. Yeah. Yeah, they and the radiation object as well. And the uh, burn marks in the ground and the twigs being snapped and stuff. Yeah. It's peculiar behaviour, but again, you know, it could be attributed to a number of things. That is a bit mental. I guess, I guess, I guess if they if they attribute the lights to some sort of celestial object that's burning out, you know, like a the, the tiniest little bit of a meteor, it's like a little meteorite or something. Mm. I guess that would make that could make a burn mark in the ground, <laughs> could it not? Yeah, Although, it would, it would, yeah. But then also, like, the fact that it's landing in a triangle pattern is a bit peculiar. Yeah, I agreed with that. I just... I just can't... I can't run my head around... There is no definitive answer, which is annoying, because I like, I like being definitive with the, like, the answers that we can give, but there is no mm. definitive answer on this. There's no... We can't say there isn't aliens, but we can't say there is. You know what I mean? Are we, yeah. we don't 100% know either or. It's the same with, like, religion. Same with anything... To do with that sort of like belief side. But it says here that the supposed landing marks, so the triangle burn marks, were identified by police and foresters as rabbit diggings. Oh. And no evidence has emerged to confirm that anything actually came down in the forest. And according to witness statements from the 26th of December, the flashing light seen from the forest lay in the same direction as the lighthouse. Oh, so. But when. When the eyewitness attempted to approach the light, they realized it was further off than they thought. One of the witnesses described it as a beacon of light off in the distance, while another said it was a lighthouse. Right, okay. So. It's just pretty much debunked here. It's definitely more on the side of debunked. Yeah. Than believer, but yeah. It's an interesting one, because we don't, we don't get that many sort of widespread stories regarding alien encounters or UFO encounters in the UK, really, do we? That's true, yeah. Main, like I said, mainly in America, which is a bit suspicious, but... Yeah, a bit weird from them. But then also, they, you know, they live in a much larger country, so... True, very true. <laughs> and a lot more people. Uh, Yeah, yeah. 320 million, 350. Good, good. You got anything else to say on this? Not on that one, no. No. On the whole sort of... Seems pretty... Are, are aliens real? Do you, is that anything else to, to sort of mention? I don't know. I'd say the final thought would be... I just still... I still... I'm in the mindset, you know, I have to be sceptical. All the stories are just nothing more than fiction until there's something that's c clear evidence. Even a video, you know. Videos and pictures will always be able to be tampered with and yep. you know technology will find a way around it and even even though people like you know they prove like the raw the raw photo you just think surely there's something going on surely something could have you know it could feasibly something could have happened there's always going to be a way to tamper with a photo with, even though they're saying oh look this is the this is the raw image of not there's proof of not tampered with it but I don't know, man. It's always a bit questionable. I think there's gonna be there's gotta be so much, so many different different collections of evidence, and they've all got to be concrete for it to even sort of, and for me to even entertain the idea that it's actually like real. And because no matter how realistic the stories seem, I'm still, you know, in my head I'm thinking, oh, that's a good story, like a story, not a not a a recounting of an event, which is, I don't know. I I think it's just one of those things. I I 
I've not encountered anything, and unless I do, I wouldn't be able to say oh, I believe in aliens. Like, I think there's a life form. I, I'd like to think that there's a life form in the universe that's in a, that's uh, on or above our level of intelligence or close to it somehow. But uh, you know, the likelihood of us ever meeting them is quite low. But we never know. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you. The fact that I do believe as well that there is some sort of being or something like extraterrestrial sort of being out there that we haven't met yet because i just i do stand behind the universe is so big that we just can't be alone in it um yeah and i fully believe that like nothing would change my mind on that but whether like you said whether or not some of this stuff in it that we're seeing is real or not always up for discussion speculation just yeah just gotta read them yourselves put get your own sort of head on them opinion on them yeah, on the most part, I'd say majority of them are a bit safer to say. Even though, you, even though you believe in aliens, even though even though I believe in them, I still think things don't add up. There's no concrete evidence. Goes on, you know, the list goes on. So yeah, we'll never enough. find out for now if that guy is real. Alan, let us know, mate. <laughs> Have we got? Is there any questions in the chat? Anyone? Anyone want to ask anything? Anyone want to bring or up anyone a discussion? Have any ideas? Exactly. Any encounters? Any, ideas. any encounters or anything? Have you not got any encounters possible. either? Nah, man. I've not. I've literally never experienced anything remotely supernatural in my life. Fair enough. I don't think I have either. Actually, touch wood. I haven't. I don't even want to touch wood. I I kind of I want to experience something supernatural. I feel like if I got off the opportunity. I would go out of my way to experience something supernatural just because then you can say like, oh, look, I've experienced this and now I can attest to the belief of it, like the, the validity of it. Like, Yeah, yeah. We well, can always, you can I'd always, like to say that. It always goes to like an abandoned building, find some ghosts or something. <laughs> I think it's that easy. Well, that's like a good place to start, right? More creepy what, abandoned, abandoned buildings. Building? Yeah, yeah. You never know what's what the history you behind that. Like, I feel like that's, exploring. that's all just... Nah, that's just part of the aesthetic. Like in reality, there's what were the chances that a ghost is hanging about in in a collapsed car park? Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's all speculation again. So, Can't but then ghost is very different from aliens, anyway. So, true. And more, I'd say more people believe about ghosts than they do aliens. E, uh, do you think so? One hundred percent. Because people are more likely to believe that human that's come back to life is haunting them rather than something that's like never probably been seen you could argue never ghosts never probably be seen but the idea of it is more realistic than aliens at the moment i'd say i don't know i think it's a little bit it's a bit tricky because um i think ghosts are more like airing on the spiritual side of belief and then of paranormal yeah. belief and it's aliens are airing on the most on the more like scientific side of belief if you get yeah me, like, yeah no i see that yeah because they're based on, you know, other the fact the fact that there must be other intelligent beings and they're coming from a, another place outside our galaxy or outside our planet, that kind of thing. So they're quite different, like veins of supernatural. But yeah, I get you. Yeah, but you can also remember, like, our human history has a lot to do with spiritualness. Like, for example, all the American Indians and stuff always believe in spirits. So the idea of ghosts has definitely been around more than that. There's more likely and more probable that more people believe in ghosts just because of word of mouth, just because of our history with as humans. Okay, yeah, I get that. Fair enough. Yeah, I just think imagine like just back in the day, like I'm talking about a couple hundred years ago, like spiritualness we've read about in history books and stuff like spirits and stuff like that has been believed for centuries. So I just think it's way more believed than aliens. Maybe not in this day and age, but yeah, maybe not now, but. Because I think there's quite a strong alien following nowadays, but it's a clo- I reckon it'd be a close one. Like, it's, it's interesting to see the figures. Yeah, I think it would be. Too there's no way that you can measure that. <laughs> You'd have to get a census of asking that person the question. Uh, yeah, yeah, put in the not... general general census. Yeah. Put... <laughs> uh, topic: What happens when you die? Oh, that's a good one for next one of the next times. That's a big topic. I like that. I like that. I like. I love talking about philosophy. Actually, that's I'm a big one. For that. Now, but the science has advanced. Yeah, but it still doesn't prove that aliens exist. 
I'm not sure the point is trying to be made. Neither am I. <laughs> oh well. Um. Yeah. No. What's um. What's next week's topic then? Uh, so I've I've got as a guest. Um. It's my cousin. So she's pretty chill. Um. It's gonna it's gonna be really relevant to us. It's about traveling and being like young twenties, which I think is pretty cool. So it's just gonna be more about life as a like youngin and just traveling mainly. Okay. I think it'll be a different. Wait, is she is she is she British as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like a little bit older than us. She's like twenty three. Alright, fair. And she obviously she's done a bit fair bit of traveling, so it'd be cool to like get some stories and stuff. Yeah, I've got. I've not got a lot to input yeah. on traveling. Well, either way, we get a cool insight in traveling because I haven't done properly traveling either. So, I think yeah, like, it'd yeah. be cool to get a guest on and like listen to what they have to say about a topic. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, mate. What have we done? F you guys. <laughs> Jeez. Oops. <laughs> Means upset. Stepped in it. Stepped in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright. Well. You got anything else mate? Nope. That's perfect. I'm happy with that one. Anything else to add? Fantastic. <sighs> nah. Awesome. I'm all good. Well. Alright. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks again. Cheers for coming people. Thank you for having me mate. No worries. I enjoyed. I enjoyed that topic. I would definitely want to do. Um supernatural like ghosts and other supernatural stuff uh, another time as well yeah but that i think that's a whole that deserves a whole podcast to itself because that's no, yeah such that's, a what big, I mean, that's what i mean such a big topic yeah, yeah, as yeah. well yeah all right yeah i agree Sick. yeah <clears throat> all right so i'll see you awesome yep whenever I next see yeah you. see you yep this is monday Thanks, it'll be monday no worries all right, all right, all right i'll put it in the calendar yeah we'll put see it all we'll sort out see you later Object in the sky. thank you for watching the stream uh stick away for the outro we'll stick around for the outro it'll be soon um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later.